Please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the recurve women's tournament. Time now for the second quarterfinal of the recurve women's tournament here at the 2023 Hyundai RC World Cup Finals. You can probably tell from this crowd, it's hometown favorite. Alejandra Valencia in the lineup. On target number one. Representing Chinese Taipei, Pong Jamo. And her opponent, on target number two, representing Mexico, Alejandra Valencia. The line judge for this matchup is Curtis Belusi. Well, there you have it. The stage is set for quarterfinal matchup number well, the two. The temperature's hot. The volume Marco has Marco just Marco gone up head. as well. Yamao has won three of the previous three. The last Marco time Yamao from Chinese Taipei, the 26-year-old world the number 12. Bronze again. appears to be Peng's favorite color. 2019 World University Games, 2023 World University Games. And Archie World. 2022 all bronze medal winning performances. Ten. And that 10 could be a sign of an upgrade here in Hermosillo. Shooting the finals in your hometown is something very ten. few experience. Valencia making her seventh finals appearance here in Hermosillo. Shoots a 10 and you can hear the crowd right behind Eight. her. Not a good release by Tang. Uh, she had some not a very strong movement as she released the arrows and we could see getting no. eight and good news for our hand of Valencia who capitalizes very solid in the middle in the yellow. Eight. Another weak shot by Peng. She started so well with the 10, floating so well, but she was really struggling in, this, in the next two arrows. What a start from Alejandra Valencia. You say making the seventh finals appearance here at Hermosillo. You can hear the crowd right behind her. She seeks her first medal. Very special would that be. She started absolutely on fire, dropping just a single point to go 2 0 up here. All those emotions. All that delight into something tangible out here. We take a little look back here. Banana, just that you started with two tens here. Two, and these two athletes have really benefited right from now. seeing the first quarter final go out. Do they get some kind of feel of what the conditions are like? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, when, uh, when athletes arrive for their match, um, the previous one is still going on. And uh, even before, you keep an eye out to, to see where others are starting so that so you can make sure you start spot on in the middle. Peng trailing starts seven two. Seven. Struggling so much, Peng. You can see on her face, she doesn't look confident, while Valencia looks really cool, really cold. Eight. Both drifting over to the left. It's been a little bit of a feature so far. Still battling with the wind a little Nine. bit, but that's better for Peng. Four. Overcompensated. That was too much. Windy conditions really hard to read as we saw in sometimes yesterday. Nine. Well, that nine puts uh, Peng back on level terms. 25, not a gettable target for Alejandra Valencia. Nine. But a good arrow 
to set herself up for the set number three. A curious second number set there. Yeah, not, not the kind of scores we're expecting to see here in the Argentine World Cup final. Uh, but what really impresses me here, and I think it's the, the good news for the whole crowd, is I think Elena Valencia looks really calm and collected. She, she, she seems to be really solid and very confident about what she's doing. And uh, we can see that uh, right after that four, she was, she was immediately back in the yellow. And uh, I believe she can make a comeback in the third set. Selected as a host nation pick here. That's how she qualified. But uh, what a bad world championship in Berlin just a few weeks ago. Yes, yes, yes. Alejandro Valencia came once again so close to winning a very big international tournament. And I'm sure she would love to get gold here today. Yeah, silver back in Berlin. She's looking for an upgrade here in her hometown. She can't walk around this town without being asked for an autograph or a photograph. Pink chum out. Needs to put all of that out of her mind and starts set number three with a nine. Seven. Shaky for Alejandra. I think she started giving it all in the beginning and perhaps with the nerves going down, it's actually not being good for her. Chance for Tank to capitalize, but uh, high into the eight. Nine. And I just see Tang struggling so much. You can see her ball moving, canting to one side and to the other, and her release is changing so much from one arrow to the other. She's really not solid here. She's put this one out of reach. She's kind of come from uh, nine. two now down to four well, and two. And so despite the struggle the she's going through, as a neutral suggestion, let's just come off yeah, yeah, in yeah. The next uh, set, she sometimes win the match, it's, uh, but even though to the I mean, all starters, of uh, Valencia, don't like but when when that's not going to happen. So high, is it so Let's make some noise good, and give her you know, all the energy uh, she needs. At least for me, I feel my body last. I feel that I don't have that fine perception. But the flip side of that is that sometimes the autopilot just kicks in and you just know what you've done billions of times in training and uh but then when it, it goes down a little bit you're more in control sometimes it can be bad Alejandra Valencia will shoot first on target two Bernardo Rivera our expert here in Hermosillo has had this exact experience shooting on home soil at an Olympic Games in Rio 2016 who would know better what's going through the mind of Valencia Four, two down, set number four. Ten. Back at it, the beginning she needed for the fourth set. Eight. See the wind buffeting Tang there. Nine. Deep. Seven. Now the opportunity presents itself to level up. Six. Guarantee the points. And eight is enough. Marked for a measure, but guaranteed 27 points is out Nine. of reach for Peng. And all of a sudden, we are on level again. Hard to pick this one. Well, I, I'm going to disagree with you. I think the momentum is with uh, Valencia. I was just really surprised that she couldn't match Peng's scores in the second and third sets. But uh, I totally see the momentum with Valencia now. I think those were kind of a blip, and now she's totally back at it. One of the two archers. Well, brave words, Bernardo. We have seen so far in the 2023 World Cup Finals a momentum can shift in the space of a single arrow. But it is all square here. And that was an impressive fourth set from Valencia, shooting at 27 
Still super on our hand. Supporting and cheering on Tank for Mexico. With the ice pack on Valencia. our head. Trying to soak up the atmosphere. Trying to enjoy it. And you can see it's a little bit of a forced smile. This Mexican crowd are going to be right behind Valencia as we go in to the fifth and final regulation set. Eight. Taking the time. Pen still not quite in the center again. Nine. Eight. Well, a quick shot there. The wind had picked up. Uh, we can hear it through the microphone. The wind is blowing really strong, very challenging conditions. Nine. Confidence pouring out. The archer from Hermosillo. Seven. Another drift across there, and a massive opportunity here for a semi final spot for Valencia. Cue the crowd. Well, absolute delight for Alejandra Valencia. It was by no means an easy run. She had a couple of difficult sets, but dug deep to come well, through quarterfinal final number two with a 6-4 victory over Peng Chimau of Chinese Taipei. Valencia rolls in to the semi-finals in her hometown.